Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, where it's my brethren all around the world watching this video, hope you're having a great day today. As you're tuning in, do yourself a damn favor, hit the subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. Now, let's get into it. Talked about I, I talked about this earlier in the week, but I want to make a video about it. Um, it's been reported by a number of news outlets, but the one I got in front of me is BoxingScene.com that my main man, okay, a, you know, the man we call on this channel, we call him the real TBE. Got a lot of respect for this man, got a lot of time for this man. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez is in talks for a world title fight in the UK with Kel Yafai. Now, this is a fight with Kel Yafai that has been uh, talked about a lot. You know, it's not, I know it's not the first time I've talked about this fight. But it really, it really, you know, you get that sense right now, or at least I get that sense, that more so than ever, this will be a fight that, that, that comes off and happens now because, you know, Eddie Hearn has had this guy held in that belt hostage for a long, long time. Kale Yafai, particularly after his last fight with Israel Gonzalez, which I, I thought was the worst robbery of 2018, you know, he, he, got, he got destroyed against Israel Gonzalez. And uh, luckily for him, in Monaco, they, they robbed Israel Gonzalez, and he, and he still hold, gets to hold the belt. Um, he's fighting, you know, they're looking for a big fight, and, and right now, Eddie Hearn feels, my, my probably feels like, you know, fighting Roman Gonzalez, uh, you know, is a good calculated risk for Kelly Yafai, because he's had the belt for a while. Roman Gonzalez, obviously, is, 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 a, is a future Hall of Famer, but we all know, I know it, you know it, as much as I love Roman Gonzalez, he, there's no way in hell he's going to be the fighter he was in 2015 or 2016. He's been in too many wars. Um, he's gotten a little older. He's got, you know, he suffered uh, a, a really devastating knockout victory over uh, to um, Rong Versai. But I would still fancy him in this fight against Yafai. You know, uh, Yafai doesn't really have one set thing that he does great. Um, and Romo Gonzalez, you know, on his day is, is to, in my opinion, arguably the, still the best, you know, one of the best pressure fighters in all of boxing. So um, it's a, it's definitely an interesting matchup. But here's what. Um, Here's what was stated on BoxingScene.com. So basically, uh, they're looking at June 23rd um, in England. Uh, the fight will be on the Zone and Sky Sports. Um, and obviously, you know, it's been it's already been like two years. It's been two years since Roman Gonzalez held a world title. Um, and when we talk about Roman Gonzalez, we're talking about a man that was once the pound for pound king of boxing. Do you know what that means? That means he was the best fighter in the world, and rightfully so. And Romo Gonzalez is looking for a couple more big wins in his career. And I, and, and I think there's two fights that I think he should have two more fights. If he wins this fight, then there's one more fight he should have after that. If he fights Kill Your Five, beats him, and then fights Donnie Nietzsche and beats him, and then he decides to retire, like that's, that's, what he, that's the route I think he should go. If he beats Kill Your Five, you become a world champion. Then you go, you fight Donnie Nietzsche, you unify, and you, if you beat him, you retire. If he does that, then Romo Gonzalez has a, a legitimate claim to fighter of the decade, whether you like it or not. I mean, the guy's the guy's been, guy's got his resume is just ridiculous. Um, but in regards to this fight, well, here's what Romo Gonzalez said. This, here's what he said. He said, I quote: I'm willing to fight Kelly Fai in England. There will be no more tune-up fights for me. It will be one, the next one be for a title. The fight against your fight will not be easy because he moves well in those combinations. We will have to train hard to bring the championship home. End quote. So, obviously he knows that it's not going to be a gimme, but this is a fight that I believe that many people will favor Roman Gonzalez. Um, and rightfully so. He's just, you know, in terms of talent, in terms of skills, he is definitely a better fighter than Kale Yafai. And we know that particularly after his last fight with Israel Gonzalez, okay? Um... The thing is, Roman Gonzalez, it's been, he has not beaten a full-fledged 115-pounder since that magical night in L.A. When he, did, when, he, when he beat Carlos Cuadras in what was a classic fight for the division. Um, you know, since then, he's taken two, you know, two devastating losses to Rong Versai, and then he, he, you know, for better or for worse, he cherry-picked Moises Fuentes from 108, brought him out to 115, and knocked the daylights out of him on the Canelo Triple G 2 undercard. So, this is a fight that... You know, I think it's going to test Roman um, because, you know, obviously it, it's hard for any fighter, particularly him, after that knockout to get back to that level he was at in 2016. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, that's a level that very few fighters get to, you know, to, to display the kind of skills he was displaying when he fought the likes of Quadras and Edgar Sosa and McWilliams Arroyo and, 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 and those guys. And, and you know, uh, Brian Valoria in particular. That was, that was probably, you know, might be his best performance of his career, in my, in my opinion. Um... So it's a good fight. It's a really good fight. Uh, Yafai, I believe, when they do fight, will definitely try to go in there and outbox him. Um, 
And he, I think he's going to have a hard time doing it because I just don't think he has the boxing skills to keep Romo Gonzalez off of him for 12 rounds. But it's a good style matchup. It's a good fight. It, 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 the timing is right. Um, it's also interesting because Romo Gonzalez has never fought in the UK before. So the British boxing fans will be getting their first live look at Romo Gonzalez. Um, obviously, not the prime Romo Gonzalez, but still Romo Gonzalez. And uh, it should be a really good fight, man. So, you know, I, I think I think this next fight for Roman is very important for his career. Um, because, uh, again, I, I have to mention this. You know, Donnie Nietes, who just picked up a, a world title against Kakashi Soto Ioka. Donnie Nietes, the same Donnie Nietes, who I think has a legitimate claim to be a pound-for-pound -pound fighter right now. Uh, probably one of the more underrated fighters in boxing. He's one of the Roman Gonzalez fight for a very long time. And, uh, you know, back, back when he was at 112, maybe he got a little bit overlooked. You know, because there were so many other, you know, good guys in the division. You know, Estrada, uh, or, or other guys from one fought, like Estrada, Cuadras, Arroyo, Rong Vasai. You know, there were so many other... So maybe, maybe he, gets, he got a little bit overlooked, but now he's got a belt. Now he's he's doing some really good things in his career. And it's been a dream fight for Nietes for a long time. So if Roman wins this fight, um, I would love nothing more than to see him try to unify that belt with Nietes. And that be his last fight. Beat him retire and then you go off into the sunset I think if he wins that fight he'll be I think it'll be like 40 maybe be sure I think it's like be 49 yeah he retires be 49 and 0 you know maybe have one tune up fight in Nicaragua uh, to end his career against like a bum go you know get that 50th win and then retire go 50 and 2 you know uh, unified champion and then you have a legitimate claim to fight of the decade because then we're talking about a guy Romo Gonzalez that um has beaten the likes of you know, Estrada, Cuadras, Arroyo, Valoria, Sosa, um, you know, Yafai, Nietes. You know, that's seven good wins right there. And, you know, um, Takayama, who we beat when he was uh, early in his career. Yutaka Nita, who was pretty good uh, in, in the low weight classes. Um, I'm forgetting somebody. I'm forgetting Akira Yagashi. You know, he's got like 10, like, quality wins. And I'm probably forgetting a couple more. Like, the guy has, the, like, one of the most ridiculous resumes in all of boxing, if you know small weight classes and luckily, luckily for me I know small weight class is pretty good so um, let me know what you guys in the comments down below Roman Gonzalez and Kelly Fai are in talks for a world title fight in the UK June the 23rd is the date being discussed for zone and Sky Sports Roman Gonzalez looking to get a strap around that waist once again and, re and, and um, stake claim at 115 as you know one of the best fighters in the world still to this day to this day Deontay Wilder voice but um Leave your comments down below. Take time to subscribe, like I say in every single one of my videos. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just giving Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.